the Deeris on for New South Wales as Shavovsky goes over to Thurston who gets around O'Donnell. He goes out for Brent Tate. Tate goes for the pedal. Menzies after him. Won't get him. Tate will score. He'll bring it around. He'll make it a certain six-pointer. Brent Tate. Brilliant try. They're coming back. successful at the 72nd minute 14 to 10 the Blues leading and Jonathan Thurston made the initial bust as he did earlier went to the speed man Brent Tate a couple of weeks ago Wayne Bennett his club coach said after he scored an 80 metre try against Manly his comeback was complete well now he scored another long range effort to put his side with an opportunity of success tonight the su successful conversion from Clinton Shavosky we have a four point ball game well, welcome to State of Origin. And for those of you watching it for the first time and new people in Melbourne, this has been going on for 25 years. When you think you've got them down, they come back again. Eight minutes to go, they're still in it. Pictures of their coach, one of the most famous Origin players of all, Mal Meninga. He's come to Melbourne on nine occasions as a player or a coach, and he's only won one. Can they pull this one out of the fire? Can they do it? Thurston has gone up a gear. Thurston and Lockyer, they've led, led from the front. When disappointment would be probably too much for the average man. He'd pack his bag and take his car keys and go home. Good run, Shavosky there, picked up valuable metres. Smith has got them to the halfway, they're in it. A good attacking position here to kick the ball for four position into the corner. Lockyer driving it down into the northwestern corner where Growth gets a favourable bounce. And he's tackled inside 20 by Flannery, Mogg and Berrigan. The Blues slow to get back into the line. Oh! oh intercepted by Lockyer! He scores! Oh, no! They can't take that off him! They won't take that off him! He will point to the spot! It's a try! Come, there's the man. Darren Lockyer, one of the true champions of our game, and we don't use that term loosely. We've got great players, we've got excellent players, but very few champions. He's in the right category. Can you believe this? I'm looking over at Paul Borton, ex-Queensland champion, ex-Queensland champion. He's sitting there like it was meant to happen. He's got a big grin on his face. He jumped out of the chair as if to say, well, what did you think was going to happen? Queensland was still in it. Now, I don't want to, again, put the mock on Clinton Shavosky. I've got his team in front, but he's still got a conversion to come. How are you feeling, Benny Eichen? I'm telling you. Darren Lockyer coming to this series under so much criticism. Have a look at these Queenslanders out there. They never, ever gave in. They just kept fighting and fighting and just reward. They've hit the front six minutes to go. Do you good thing? Six minutes to go, baby. Bit of passion, Steve. Bit of passion coming into it. Why not? Why not? Marvellous stuff from Queensland. The captain back out there for the Blues. Badiris laying down the law. They were coasting. Everything was good. And Clint Shavosky, almost directly in front. He's a fine goal kicker. This would be like shelling peas on any normal night. But this is a bit different. 14 all for Clinton Shavosky. A 10 metre kick from right in front. 
to boot Queensland to a 16-14 lead. But even then, they won't be safe against the adversities, against the judgments. They are about, I would think, to take the lead. He gets it. He boots it into the locket stand. And it is Queensland leading by two. Here it is again. A wayward pass from Dummy Hart, a mile away from the intended receiver. I think it was Brett Hodgson who threw the ball from Dummy Hart. Queensland have to get to the kick from this restart. They need a mistake-free set here, and Carl Webb gets it outside the 10. No mistakes, get to the kick, then defenders owe their lives depend on it. So this is Super Nasiba going down the right side, the short side. This game, this origin, this thing we call origin. Born in 1980, when Arthur Beetson led the Queenslanders. Lock here and Thurston! Driving down the middle, but Mason making the tackle. Cameron Smith kicking down for Hodgson, who didn't have to do a lot of work, but Berrigan is there with Lockyer to make the tackle just inside the Blues 30-metre line. It's gone to growth. He shows it. He takes the tackle. And again, there is time. We have seen Queensland dig very, very deep. The New South Wales have it in them. O'Donnell. Luke O'Donnell there, 35 away from his own line. I was about to make the point that it has been riddled. It has been riddled with Queensland fairy tales, miracles, getting out of jail, call it whatever you like. Houdini. Houdini-like performances. But that's what Origin has always been about. Just incredible never-say-die attitude. Growth gets it away for Hudson to go to Menzies. Menzies goes across to Gaznia, and they take him to ground, and he stays in the field of play. Last tackle. Tackle by Flannery. The pass is a high ball to Gower. He kicks across towards Reese Wesser, the Penrith teammate. He'll get it back into the field of play and surrender. He tries to reach the ground. They pick him up and drive him back. It's a penalty. 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 Well, this rule has changed several times during the season. Going back in March, April, this would have been a line dropout and the ball back to New South Wales. But referees made a stand some six or eight weeks ago that once you cannot pass the ball or make forward that's ground, you are held. He said, that's one, that's one. The referee is calling held, that's one. And it's a good rule change. We saw Daniel Fitzhenry come up with a broken collarbone against the Warriors as a result of one of those lifts. If you can't go forward and you can't pass, the tackle has to be completed. Three minutes. It's a still a long time. Is anybody game enough to get in the payout queue? Seven to see the plays it. 30 out from his line. Nate, no, that's Carl Webb. He will play the ball slowly. Slowly as it goes. And Dallas Johnson. His defensive efforts have been magnificent through the series. Cameron Smith away for Pedro Sivanasiva. Tackled on the halfway line. It's not about points for Queensland now. Now it's defence. They've got two and a half minutes. That means that... Oh, here's a chance for Mog. Look at Mog. Mog is after it in the race for the ball. It's still there. It's been towed by Hodgson in the touch. This could well be a Queensland. Now it's a line, line dropout. Drop out. It's a line dropout. So the Queenslanders will get the ball back. And at most, if they play cleverly, they should only have to make another six, at the most, 12 tackles in this game. That's how close it was. The short restart. Great take, Matt King. He's in the touch. The ball comes back inside, but it's a knock-on from his support player, Ben Hornby. Oh, great kick, great catch. Desperation stuff, but that may be it. If Queensland can win the scrum, and hold on to the ball. Time, out. time off. The Blues packing the scrum, forcing the referee to call time out. One minute and 20 seconds to go. King did well, Hornby knocked on. And now Queensland will soak up this set. 25 out in front of the stick, Shavovsky. Flannery 
one of the more experienced players. 20 out from the line. Second tackle gone. Smith for seven receiver. You wouldn't get this off him. And New South Wales have to go one-on-one -on -one in defence here and try and strip the football. Just send one man, uh, uh, one man in defence. There's the strip. No, a couple came in. Mason couldn't make it. Four tackles gone. 25 seconds on the clock. Johnson slowly, slowly. Cameron Smith. Cameron Smith takes it over towards the Western touchline. Tackled by Menzies. And five gone for Queensland. Darren Lockyer, he rolls it end on end and puts it over the sideline. So the Blues will pack another scrum as quick as they can with 20 seconds left on the clock. I'll need to watch for the kick from the scrum win immediately. We've got 20 seconds. That's not time for full set. They're going to have to kick the football for a speed man at some stage. Hold on to your hats. So here it goes. Through the hands and wide and Gaznier has tackled. Gaznier tackled by one of the stars, Brent Tate. The dummy half tackled by Tate. The ball goes through three sets of hands. Back to Mason. Back 